Hey Strong Siders, welcome to our first instructional series on hamstrings. We're going to have a few of these videos, so let's watch. We're going to start off with a laying down hamstring curl. The lay down hamstring curl is much better than the seated hamstring curl because it allows the hips to stay in full extension, which is a contraction of the hamstrings as well as the glutes. What we want to avoid is this position here, which we see a lot of. As you can see, the hips are actually bending even though the knees are bending. So we are shortening the hamstring at the knee, but not at the hip. So you wanna make sure that you maintain your hips in connection with the bench so that you stay fully extended at the hip while you curl the knee, which creates a truly shortened hamstring. Let's just keep looking at how important it is. If you watch my lower back, it stays nice and still in a neutral curve. Uh, this really teaches your hamstrings to fully shorten, something that doesn't really happen too much in things like deadlifts. Uh, or also in uh, any squat or anything like that. Generally the knee is extended while the hips are extended at the end of those movements. So again, we do want to really focus on quality form here. This is really good for helping with prep before bigger lifts or to use as an accessory so that you get a little bit more in the hamstrings after your big compound lifts such as deadlifts or squats. And again, don't do this. As always, stay strong, strong siders.